Hello and a very warm welcome to this special report of Rajya Sabha TV. The 253rd session of Rajya Sabha is starting on 29th of January. And once again, like the monsoon session, this one is also taking place in the shadow of the COVID-19 pandemic. Once again, both houses of parliament will undergo a logistical overhaul to put in place special arrangements to conduct the budget session of parliament. But how exactly will this session be different from the last one? Let's bring you all the details and behind the scenes actions and preparations for the upcoming session. Come along. The stage is being set for the second parliament session after the outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic. The president has summoned the Rajya Sabha to meet on 29 January. The budget session will be held in two parts, from 29 January to 15 February, and then after a break from 8 March to 8 April. Summons for the session to all the members of parliament have been issued through email alone. Unless otherwise notified the timing, the time of sittings of the Rajya Sabha during the session will be from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m except on 29 January and 1st February. On 29 January, the President will address members of both houses in a joint session of Parliament. On the 1st of February, Finance Minister Nirmala Sitaraman will present the Union Budget in the Lok Sabha. Article 85.1 of the Constitution empowers the President to summon each House of Parliament to meet at such a time and place as he thinks fit. This has to be within six months of the last sitting of the Parliament session. The winter session of Parliament could not be held due to the spread of the COVID-19 pandemic. The monsoon session of Parliament before that had to be curtailed due to the pandemic. The monsoon session was adjourned days ahead of schedule. The President will address both Houses of Parliament assembled together at 11 a.m. on 29 January. Rajya Sabha will have a separate sitting to transact government business one hour after the sitting of the Lok Sabha on 29 January 2021. On 1st February 2021, the Union Budget for 2021-2022 will be presented in the Lok Sabha at 11 a.m. There will be no question hour on that day in the Rajya Sabha. The sitting of the Rajya Sabha will start one hour after the Union Budget is presented in the Lok Sabha. The first session during the new year, during this year, so this is going to be addressed by the joint session, would be addressed by the Honorable President of India. And that would be held in the three chambers, which is the Lok Sabha, the Rajya Sabha and the Central Hall. So some people would be sitting in the Central Hall and the President, the Honorable uh, Vice President and the Speaker, they would be sitting on the Central Hall and they would be addressing and the members would be sitting in the central hall as also in the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha chambers and they would be listening from there. For the second time in the history of Indian Parliament since 1952, chambers and galleries of both houses will be used to hold the budget session. But unlike the last session, the budget session will feature a weekend break for the members. <laughs> Rajya Sabha Chairman M. Mekha Nadu has directed that during the 253rd session of the Upper House, the Princes of Rajya Sabha shall also include Lok Sabha Chamber, its lobbies and galleries. This is of course to facilitate sitting of members of Rajya Sabha in the chambers and the galleries of the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha. Rule 2 1 of the Rules of Procedure and Conduct of Business in the Rajya Sabha states that the Princes of the Council may include any other place as the Chairman may from time to time specify. Special arrangements were made in the last session in line with the prescribed six feet social distancing norm for COVID-19 pandemic. Members were seated in a staggered manner in the Rajya Sabha chamber, galleries and the Lok Sabha chambers. No fixed seat or division number was allotted to individual members. The number of seats was allotted to each party at the different place according to their numerical strength. So we have 
reserved few seats from the prime minister for the leader of the house for the leader of the opposition etc and rest of the seats are been given to the parties as a block so we are not like unlike our practice in the normal times we are not assigning seats to each member we are just providing them a block in the rajya sabha we are providing them a block in the lok sabha and we would be giving them the seats in the the galleries the purpose of the doing this is that the leader of the party has the flexibility and the freedom to change depending on for example the age and the health of the concerned member and also whether he is to participate because there are some member who want to participate uh, suppose in question session or in discussions or in the debate and they want to be in the rajya sabha where the chairman is sitting so they can easily exchange it with another member who is sitting in the lok sabha in the rajya sabha and they can be present in the rajya sabha chamber itself unlike the monsoon session question hour will be taken up in the budget session of parliament chairman of rajya sabha m venkaiah naidu has directed that for 253rd session of the upper house the question hour will be from 9:30 am to 10:30 am A limit of 7 notices has been placed for questions as per priority indicated by a member or on the basis of point of time of the receipt per sitting per member. The Rajya Sabha chairman has also directed that the two supplementaries may be allowed to the member in whose name a start question has been listed. Three more members may be allowed one supplementary each. In the case of start question that hasn't been put or the member in whose name it appears is absent three members may be allowed a supplementary each the question hour uh, the last time we could not take it due to paucity of time and also because there was no experience on working under this arrangement and there was no time to get replies from the concerned ministries etc so therefore it has been decided that there will be a question hour and a full one hour question hour because the question hour is the prerogative and the privilege of the honorable members so there would be a question answer during the parliament session and since the question hour is being taken all the days of the week there is the same grouping of the ministries which has been done earlier will continue to be there there is also an issue that if a member sitting in the other house wants to raise a supplementary wants to ask a supplementary and he raises his hand or he wants to he is trying to bring it to the attention of the honorable chairman so that he can give him the time to uh, give the supplementary ask the supplementary so there is an arrangement that the the tv would focus on the member who is in the other house the member in the the same house of course the chair person is able to see but in the other house if there is a person then the tv will focus on that person so the chairman gets to know that who is the person who is willing to ask a question and then he grants him him or her a time to speak time to ask a question the 253rd session of rajya sabha will also take up private members business to determine the priority of pending private members bills a single draw of lot was held on 22nd of january in the secretary general's room the respective bills will be taken up on the days allotted for private members business the 253rd session of the rajya sabha will have private members business on 5th february 12th and 26th march which are all fridays and on 8th april which is a thursday private members resolutions will be taken up on 12th february 19th march on fridays and on 1st april thursday private members business is normally taken up on friday falling during the session for this purpose two and a half hours of the sitting on friday are allotted however in consultation with the leader of the house the rajya sabha chairman can allot any day other than a friday to transact private members business if the council has no sitting on a friday the chairman may direct for a sitting on any other day in the same week and that will be allotted for private members business in such cases thursday is generally allotted 
for the purpose. Only I have conducted the uh, ballot and in which as you know that the priority of the questions, priority of the private members bills, their resolution is all done very transparently through ballots. So, a ballot was done uh, in fact a few minutes before and that those will be taken up. The duration of the zero hour or for matters raised with permission of the chairman has been fixed at 13 minutes during the 253rd session of Rajya Sabha. In fact, members can raise matters after the mandatory advance notice. In one week, no member will be allowed to make more than one submission as a matter raised with permission of the chairman. Matters to be raised with the permission. Members who wish to raise a matter of urgent public importance on any given day should give a notice to their intention to the chairman between 12 noon and 5 pm the previous day. The notice should indicate a synopsis of the matter that they wish to raise and justify its urgency and importance. Admitted matters need to be raised immediately after papers are laid and other formal business is concluded during the first half an hour of a sitting. Not more than one matter raised with permission, submission will be permitted on a subject on a day. The limit of three minutes for raising a matter with permission of the chair is to be strictly complied with. For matters with permission, members shall give fresh notice every day. Notices not admitted by the chairman will be treated as lapsed the same day. It is the chairman's prerogative to admit notices on issues that are urgent and important for being taken up. It is also the chairman's prerogative to decide the order in which admitted matters will be permitted to be raised. That is the first hour, that used to be the first hour of every day session. But this time, because the eight hours business is to be compressed into five hours, so that has been kept at half an hour. So the members will have to give a notice one day before between 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. And after the members give their notices, the, it is, the list is placed before the chairman. And also, as you know, that during that period, the laying of the papers is also done. So depending on the business of that day, then the, the zero hours, the questions raised with the permission of the chair, those will be taken up and those will also be given opportunity as was being done earlier. Unlike the last session, the conduct of the budget session will be unique. Not just because of the many precautionary measures that are being taken due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but also because of several digital solutions that will be employed to ensure the smooth conduct of proceedings of the House. Secretary General of Rajya Sabha, Tesh Deepak Varma, went through the drill in respect of various elements of the proceedings of the House. The drill lasted over an hour. Officials were made to sit in the chamber of both houses and galleries of the Rajya Sabha for the mock proceedings. The Secretary General went through the drill in respect of various elements of the proceedings of the House. These included members seeking to raise various issues from different locations by raising hats, raising points of order, participating in voice note and division. He also tested the audio quality with the simultaneous interpretation facility from both the Houses of Parliament. It is a, it's a peculiar situation. So what we do is when we do the mock drill, we presume as if the House is going on. So we take all eventuality into account, every possibility into account. For example, from the last uh, session experience, we had a takeaway that two seats in the Rajya Sabha, in the galleries above, they were not being covered by the uh, TV, they could not cover it because of a specific placement of that seat. So we are trying to change that slightly so that uh, that member who is sitting there is not disadvantaged and he is also equally and in, uh, in the same prominent fashion is covered during the coverage of the program or when he is making a point or when he is making a speech. So that is a takeaway which has been from the previous session which we are doing. Four 
four 85-inch display screens in each chamber and six 40-inch display screens in the four galleries of the house will allow members to watch proceedings. Seats in the galleries will be fitted with consoles to enable participation of members in the proceedings of the house from their seats. Polycarbonate sheets will separate the officials' gallery of Rajya Sabha from the chamber as both are in close proximity. Interpretation booth of Rajya Sabha will be integrated with audio systems for simultaneous interpretation. As a backup, a hotline communication facility has been set up between the chambers of the two houses for communicating any message regarding participation of members in case of any technical emergency. Fire safety drill and medical safety drills were also conducted. Through their existing arrangements in both the houses, Rajya Sabha Television and Lok Sabha Television will facilitate the live telecast of proceedings besides displaying them on the screens in the other house. Chambers of both the houses are connected by half a kilometer long optic fiber and audio-video cables for real-time transmission of signals to enable members seated at different locations to make submissions. Arrangements have also been done for RT-PCR tests for members of parliament near their residences ahead of the budget session from 29 January. RT-PCR tests will be conducted at the Parliament House on 27th and 28th January. Arrangements for the COVID testing have also been made for families and the staff members of the lawmakers. Chairman M. Naidu has directed the officials of the Secretariat to strictly follow the COVID-19 protocol. His most important concern has been about the health of the members and he has been uh, in fact insisting that we should maintain the social distancing norms and we should take all precautions while we are conducting the proceedings in the house and uh, the special care that he's taking he has been taking is that just don't uh, inform the members through a letter or a mail but also contact them and also we will get the reports from the members beforehand so that when they come here there is no crowding at the entrance points and the our security people already know that this honorable member has already done the covid test and he is negative in 2020 rajya sabha witnessed the highest productivity in 11 years with all the painstaking arrangements and the cooperation of the lawmakers there is every indication that year 2021 will be no different in achieving high levels of productivity in the upper house. Well, that's all I have for you in this edition. Thanks for watching and stay tuned to Rajya Sabha TV. COVID-19, India fights back.